This is CNA 938. Next, news and current affairs through the night. Steve Lai. In news now. The number of people infected with COVID-19 surpasses 100,000 as European Union health officials meet to discuss measures against its spread. Singapore sees its biggest single-day increase since the outbreak began, just as China sees its cases taper down. The COVID-19 outbreak turns into a diplomatic spat between Japan and South Korea as Tokyo quarantines arrivals from its neighbor. At the same time, Thailand deals with the messy aftermath of its isolation orders for visitors. We start though with the number of coronavirus cases worldwide, which has passed 100,000. That figure, according to Johns Hopkins University. The University's Center for System Science and Engineering also says that COVID-19 has caused the deaths of more than 3,400 people. The virus continues to spread to more countries and territories. The Vatican has or is the latest to confirm its first case. A spokesman for the Holy See says a patient tested positive for COVID-19 at the Vatican Health Clinic. The tiny city-state is surrounded by Italy, which is battling the deadliest outbreak outside of China. 148 people have died in Italy in the past two weeks. Over 3,800 have been infected. Elsewhere in Europe, the Netherlands says its tally of cases has risen to 128, while Germany has reported 134 new infections, bringing its total past 530. Deaths from COVID-19 have also been reported in the Netherlands, the UK and Switzerland. With numbers across Europe increasing, European Union health ministers have held an emergency meeting to discuss the rapidly growing outbreak. And for more on this, let's cross over to Lucy Hoff in Brussels for more. Uh, Lucy, what plans have European health ministers come up with to help push back the spread of COVID-19 in the region?